close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and then just try to stay with the breathing. Notice where the breathing feels in your body. If it feels good and nourishing, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good and nourishing, you can change the way you breathe. Make it deeper or more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Get a sense of what feels good for the body right now. You try to stay there continually. You're making a quiet spot for the mind. And John Sawat, the monk who founded the monastery, often talked about mon the monastery as being a quiet corner, a place where people can come and get away from their ordinary concerns and find some peace inside. But if you always have to go running away someplace else to find peace, you're in a bad position. Because a lot of times you need that sense of peace and you're miles away. So you have to learn how to create that sense of a quiet corner inside yourself, a place where the mind can be still and can get, gain some nourishment from the breath, gain some nourishment, nourishment simply from the stillness itself. There's a sense of ease that comes when the mind doesn't have to pick up any thoughts, doesn't have to get engaged in anything at all. Not that you're never going to think, but it's good to have a spot where you don't have to think, so you can rest, gather your strength. This is a good skill to have. Because we're very skilled at thinking and running around, but we're not that skilled at just staying in place and having a sense of well-being and not listening to all the little voices in the mind that keep saying, well, you've got to think about this, or how about that, or what's that over there? Uh, the fear that you're going to be missing out on things. But look at us. We've got so much information at our fingertips now. Does it make us any happier? Not much. Some things are easier, and a lot of things are become even more difficult to find. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack when you're trying to find something worthwhile out there. But if you look inside, you find you've got all the needles you want. All the good things you want inside are right here, if you t look after them, if you take care of them. So the first step is just getting the mind to settle down. It's going to have a sense of well-being, just being right here. Because one of the things you're going to want to know is, when the mind does move, why does it move? And do you have a choice not to move along with it? You want to look into that. And you can see that only when the mind is very, very still. So try to bring about some stillness right here, right now. This way you have your quiet corner with you wherever you want to go. Once you've gained this skill and mastered this skill, it's something you can work on even when you're not in a quiet corner like this. You can meditate at home, take a little break every day to get the mind have have its own place, a place where it's in charge and it's not being forced around by the issues of the world outside of your body, inside of your feelings or whatever. It's just your awareness on its own, allowed to have a chance to recuperate and uh, grow healthy. Because after all, how much can you depend on the body? It's with you for a while, and then this doesn't work and that doesn't work. You've got to learn how to depend on the mind. Create the mind so that it's the kind of mind you can depend on. And that's what we're doing as we meditate. <laughs>